of the world, but it's feeling just like every other morning. So why don't you like UDE currently? Uh, they put out some amazing games. I loved Versus. Uh, WoW was good. Uh, I didn't immediately grasp onto it, but uh, amazing games. I love Versus. Uh, I wish they would have done so much more with it. But uh, what makes me mad is that they build up these great games and then they just completely punt on organized play. They made some sort of announcements in terms of uh, favoring casual play so they were going to stop doing or basically uh, competitive play when it was basically a game designed for competitive play. So they, they, uh, they alienated all the professional players and left no one else to play the game. And uh, they put no support into the games. Um, basically, no reason to play them, and they're they're, they're way actually better games than uh, than Magic, but just uh, just completely ruined their entire concepts as a company. And uh, so here I am back playing Magic. Wow. And so you think they're doing the same thing with WoW right now? Yeah, I think they are. I think they're just doing nothing in terms of organized play. There's really no reason to play. There's one money tournament a year, and it, and you have to go through so many channels just to get into that tournament. And uh, currently, the game itself doesn't seem that challenging. It's uh, it's all about one cost, two one creatures. So. So not that I, don't, I don't understand it as well. It's not fair of me to criticize it, but uh, I, I haven't enjoyed it nearly as much as Versus, which is one of the most skill-intensive games ever put out, and uh, I loved every bit of it. They didn't, address the, they didn't address the right problems. They didn't give enough attention to the right problems, and uh, it just seems like basically one big, uh, I don't know, you could probably edit it by the closer fuck, basically. <laughs> Why would you be unhappy with Magic? Oh, I mean, when you've seen, it's like it's like you, you get to go taste the, 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 the most amazing tasting steak, and someone says, you can have this steak, uh, and then all of a sudden they just say, like, uh, well, no, you can't have it, here's uh, here's a sirloin or something like that. I mean, that's that's what magic is. I mean, magic's a sirloin steak. It's, it's still good. It's uh, it's consistent. You're, you know what you're always going to get, but, uh, I mean, uh, the, the Versus System game was an amazing game. Uh, it, it reduced the luck factor. It had uh, great uh, great interactions, but it's, it's pretty much gone. They killed it. So you're okay with that amount of errata? I mean, there's a lot of it. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, there, I mean, basically, I think I guess R and D probably let a couple things slip through the cracks, but they addressed them uh, before pro circuits. Yeah, you know, they, didn't, they didn't let a broken combo hit the circuit, win the circuit, and then then errata like uh, high tide and magic. Or uh, there was some some combo with the wall of roots where he took off the infinite mana during the the null phase, the in between turns phase. You know, like right. magic lets that let that happen before addressing it. And versus most of the time, they they address they address it as soon as they got wind of it. Like if they if the players were chatting about it, they they'd research it and figure out if it was really busted or not. So I think it's just part of the growth of a game. I mean, you, you, you've seen that happen. I mean, we just talk, brought up some examples in Magic. Right. Uh, well, I mean, well, if you take sort of the the opposite idea of uh, Grand Prix Columbus, where you had legacy format, everybody was talking about Flash. Flash was the most broken thing of all time. It's going to completely take over the meta, and everybody and their mom is going to be playing it. And then the meta became Flash combo and fish that beat Flash and then stuff that beat fish. What did Versus have that sort of ability? Like you knew Dr. Light was going to be stupid or good. Could you stop it? Um, well, the example of the very first Dr. Light, the answer is no, it was not beatable. Um, there, there, were, there were decks that could beat it, but I mean, they were like 1% chance against the rest of the field at all. So it was really not a, a rock, paper, scissors, but more of like a... I mean, if you, if you took the deck that was meta to beat to beat Dr. Light, you'd lose to everybody else who was playing some other deck that was trying to be meta to beat Dr. Light. But that's just one example of a deck that was really basically unbeatable, and that was that was two years before the end of Versus, which is basically today. I, I think basically the, the the lack of having a great base of strong players who could really spend the time in Versus to to create that meta probably wasn't there, if that makes sense. Right. Uh, so it might have seemed like some other combo would arise and be unbeatable, when actually there probably was a rock, paper, scissors format or, or some sort of uh, metagaming to metagame to metagame, which eventually eliminates you know some of the other options. Yeah. I just don't know that, that there was enough players or strong enough community to do that.